What was that called? The, whatever thing that's written on your back. So you do remember. I don't remember, but I only know because I had friends on the outside after I woke up from the hospital. But I don't know. I, I, I. <coughs> I've literally just been trying to live my life away. I don't. I don't even care anymore. Save your breath. Uh, you got this. Okay. So I'm learning. There's a route up here. Oh God. Get out and come with me. Don't tell anyone you're here. Tada! Mm. Mm hmm. Beautiful view. <laughs> Sleepy. Yeah. Thank you. I'm Dundee. Okay, so you are Mr. Dundee. Yeah. And I thought until ten minutes ago you were dead. Uh, well, I tried to stay that way for a very, very long time. Why? Because I didn't want any trouble. Buffy, do you remember anything? No. But I have been told <sighs> things from people. So here's what I'll, I'll listen, Mr. Dundee. I'll, let me. I'll, I'll level with you. I'm gonna give you the God's honest truth, okay? Because I don't want any trouble. I know that I was former BBMC. I don't really understand to what capacity or something, but I know I was affiliated with your organization in the past. And I also know that I am no longer affiliated with your organization. And that I also woke up with like 50 bullet holes in me when I did come to. So whatever I did, I'm sure it wasn't good. And I'm sure whatever you guys had to do led to me being where I am today. And you know what? I'm totally fine with that. You know? Well, I'm not! Because I <laughs> miss you! Wow. You met everything! You were one of the best damn members there was! You had been there from the start! You were the one I looked up to! I had so many visions for you. I wanted nothing but you to be up there with the rest of the boys. The big four, I considered you. I considered you top four. Higher than... Almost top three. My circle was me burying you. You were my circle. I mean you turned into a fucking square. Those are very, very kind words, Mr. Dundee, but I, 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 I just don't, I just don't have any memory of anything. So I can't, I, I, I just don't know. I, I don't know what you want. I don't know what you want me to say. Let me and tell also, you. I think, I think Mr. Benson is having some sort of memory loss. I think that's what's happening. Oh, you don't say. Yeah. And so I think you should probably. Wolfie. Yes, sir. You used to say that a lot, you know? Well, I like to be polite. <laughs> used to be. You, like, you used to like to be loyal as well.
Wolfie, mate, you, um... I don't remember who brought you into the club, but what I do remember is that you were the first one that we brought into the circle. Me and Barry raised you. You were a suit-wearing, delivery truck-driving piece of shit. We turned you into one of the best hackers there was in this city. Back in the day when no one practiced. We gave you everything. We took you in from the streets and together we built a family. We built one of the most successful families there was together. Yeah, we had our ups and downs. We had good moments and bad moments. Some people split, some people stayed. But you worked your way up from the bottom of the fucking totem pole to top three. You're higher than Paz, you're higher than Colin. Sure, you were just a patch member, but to me, mate, didn't matter what the rank said. You were in the three. We were good for a while, man. We did some shit that never... Shit so good you could never do it again. If you tried. And... It was going well, man, but... You slipped. And you fell. You brought the mm. cops to a situation. You brought cops to gang territory. And then you snitched. You got fucked up for it. And you were open to a punishment and... We're gonna make you do something that you didn't like. And we thought that, oh, it would suck for Wolfie, he'll do it, but... It's gonna hurt. What disappointed me is that... You didn't do it. You didn't, I didn't fucking do it. To do what exactly? You didn't hurt your damn best friend outside the club because you covered him! Who the fuck is my best friend outside the club? Do you not remember Kirk? Oh, Kirk Jerkums. I mean, yeah. I mean, I like Kirky. You gave up the club for Kirky. A guy called Kirky. Kirky! You gave him well... up! We had suspicions there was a snitch inside the club. Kirky was part of a gang called the Stable, a gang we weren't too happy with. Kirky was gonna get hurt. Somehow, Kirky found out we were coming. And you have deleted text messages from Kirky. And you're also the only person that's friends with him inside the club. And you were the only person that wouldn't hurt him or attack him. You weren't loyal to the club. You gave up the club for a guy called fucking Kirky. Well, he is my friend. And we were too. And you but, were too? But you didn't seem to care. I guess... Uh, it's it's hard because, you know, it, I don't, I guess, still fully understand. But if we were friends and he was my friend, why would my friend make me hurt my other friend if, if my friends knew that that was going to hurt me? I guess would be my question that I want to ask. Because your friend hurt your other friends. You have, you in a you in a weird position. Your best friend hurt your other best friend, and your two best friends didn't like each other. Kirk hurt us. We done everything for you. We made you. We gave you the opportunity to shine, and you shattered it. You disappointed me. You took your other friend over everyone that cared for you. And now look where you are. Cold, alone, hiding for the rest of your life. You, 
you pr your current self-conscious probably isn't even aware of the actions that you did. But mate, if you were, they'd be regretting it. You, this is your life now. You just have a jacket like this on your back, and now you just wear that. Well, authentic leather, but okay. Yeah, it could be whatever the fuck it is. It could be made out of fucking leopard skin. Doesn't matter what the jacket is, mate. All, all that matters about the jacket is what it means. Your jacket means you paid for it. My jacket means that I earned it. I guess my in my head is that like okay so but like I like my I feel like if 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 you were really my Dundee then you wouldn't ask me or you wouldn't put me in a position that would have to hurt another friend right because that because our our bond that Not we have Not mindlessly I tried But I mean isn't I isn't that what what it means to be a friend? I tried to make you do that. But another member of the club opened my eyes and I changed my mind. And I swore I'd never do that again unless there was a good reason. There was a good reason to go after this person, Wolfie. It wasn't a blindless hurting. You fucked up. We were after these guys anyways. We were looking for him. We just wanted you to lure him in. You wouldn't fucking do it. You wouldn't hurt him. But Wolfie, well, I'm not- not. He's my friend. Just I ain't like, here. Just like if we were for, just like if we were friends, I wouldn't hurt you. I ain't here to argue the past. Not anymore. Okay. I was telling you what happened. Jackie, not do the meme, please. It's not the right time. Thank you. <sighs> well, I appreciate that, Mr. Dundee. I really do. And I mean, hey, I'm still busting banks. If you ever need me of shut my the fuck, services... Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Stop talking. Shut the fuck up. I never want to see you again. Okay, fair enough. You were, you were my boy. You're dead to me. It's dead to me. You change the way I will forever think of a member. This is the last time we will ever speak. Because beyond this moment, I'm gonna, if I ever see you again, I'm just gonna pretend that I don't even know you exist. This is the last time we will ever speak, mate. I've told my story. Anything else you wanna know? Uh, no, but there is something that I'd like to warn you about. What's that? I would keep a very close eye on that red-haired guy. Uh, Pez Speedwagon, I believe is his name. Why? Uh, I have it on good authority that he may not be who he really says he is. And that he might have malicious intentions for the people around him. Why should I ever fucking trust a single single thing that you say? After everything you, you don't did. have to. Hey, hey, I am <laughs> Mr. Dundee, you seem like a really good person at the end of the day. And I'm literally just telling you what I know. And if you want to take it, take it. If you want to just, in one year out the other, do do with that information as you will. I'm gonna gamble. 